Jimmy Thang from Maximum PC here at Alienware's Suite. I'm here speaking with Ray. And Ray, can you sort of tell us what we're looking at here today? Well, what we're looking at here today is the new Alienware 13-inch notebook. Okay. And this is going to be our, our new uh, thin and extremely mobile notebook. Um, it comes with a Core i5 processor and an 860M GPU. Um, it's going to come in multiple flavors of LCD panels. So we're going to have HD, Full HD, and QHD panels. Uh, the QHD panels also touch. So we'll be able to come over here and, and actually use a touch panel. Uh, it's the first time that Alienware has gotten into touch. Um, but with Windows 8 and all the great benefits of touch, it's, it really is the right time to do it. Um, we've shrank it down. I wish I had a 14 to show you. We have shrank it down so it's a lot more uh, portable. Right. It's, uh, it's, a lot, it's a lot thinner as well, right? Absolutely. Um, but we've kept a lot of the great features that make Alienware Alienware, including the, the backlit keyboard running with alien effects so you're able to change the colors across multiple zones you'll be able to set them to do lighting patterns that, that appeal to you whether your colors uh, red green teal or pink you'll have those options if you want to put them in multiple zones you'll have those options um, but the big kicker on this today that we're, we're showing off is the alienware graphics amplifier which is this box right here looks like a like a big black toolbox it does. <laughs> I, I call it the Alienware shoebox. Ah, oh, gotcha. But, um, so what the graphics amplifier is, and I'll go ahead and open it up for you here, it's an external desktop graphics card. Is that like a 980 or something? That is a GTX 980 in there. Gotcha. We are hooked up to the back of the notebook through this cable here, and okay. you can see with the, with the lights that are currently on that the connection is made. What kind of cable is that? It's a proprietary cable. It's uh, using PCIe and USB. Interesting. Okay, so you have to explain what, uh, what's going on here. So what we're doing is we basically, um, and the way that we're doing it, um, for the desktop fans out there, they'll understand, we've basically taken the PCI Express out of the system and moved it into uh, an external enclosure. It's got multiple USB 3 ports on the back. Uh, you put your desktop graphics card in, and you have all your desktop ports on the back as well. So with the 980, you can power up to five external displays if you want. Um, you also have the, the multiple USB ports. And the benefit to that is um, you go off to work, you go off to a friend's house, you want to be mobile, you take your Alienware 13 with you, but you come home and you want to have the horsepower of a desktop. You connect the cable, you leave everything set up on your desktop, your mouse, your keyboard, external hard drive, uh, your, your monitor, all of it right here. When you come home, you connect this and you turn the notebook on, you're pushing everything to this, to this external graphics card and you're getting the horsepower of a desktop graphics card. Um, you're not locked in to either NVIDIA or, or AMD. You can use both. Um, you can use low-end, mid-range, high-end cards. We're not locking that into anybody. Um, this is just a desktop PCIe port being used on a notebook. Can you do a SLI or like Crossfire? No, you can't. Okay, um, it's just so a you, single video card. It's a single video card. It's being passed out to the, the desktop. Gotcha. I gotta say, I, I did not think of that one. <laughs> I didn't think you guys were gonna show that. Yeah, this, is, this has been our, our big secret. Um, we're, we're extremely excited about it. The flexibility, the usability, um, it, it just brings it all to the table for, for the end user. Um, the other benefit is, one of the things that people criticize notebook gamers on is upgradability. Um, the average lifespan of a, of a notebook gamer is what, two years, three years, they say? Mm -hmm. Well, with a situation like this, after a year or two, if you want more graphics horsepower, get a new graphics card for, for the amplifier. Um, if you just want more raw power, Get a, get, a, get a graphics card for the amplifier. Gotcha. How much is the enclosure going to be? Uh, two ninety nine. Okay, cool. And the notebook starts at nine ninety nine. Gotcha. And uh, release date? Say that again? Uh, release date? Um, October 28th. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Am I missing anything or that's the gist of it here? That's the gist of it. We'll go around to the other side and we'll, we'll see some more, including the, the performance monitor software that we have open right now so that you can see that it's actually using the card itself. Cool. Let's take a look. Let's go. Oh, you good. <laughs> no, I, I, you're looking through there. I don't want to trip you. No, that's all right. So if you look at the, the real-time performance monitor, you're going to notice we're running a Core i5-4210 CPU. We have 16 gigs of RAM in here, and we're running a GeForce GTX 980 GPU. Is it possible to uh, use the uh, mobile graphics card as like a physics processor or anything, or is it just... No, un simply uh, unfortunately, that's, we can't do that right now um, because we're... we're we literally have to disable it to push out to the, the external card itself. So we can't do that right now. But what, what is cool 
is that when you're in this situation, the notebook is still running on the Intel integrated graphics chip and the, uh, the GTX 980. So you're gonna be able to have the benefit of having both graphics cards. So anything directly connected to um, the notebook when it's in this situation is gonna be running on Intel. And then when you hook up to an external display, it'll run off the 980. Or if you don't have an external display, the 980 will push back uh, to the LCD panel itself. Gotcha. Cool. Awesome. Thanks, Ray. No problem, Jimmy.